Hi, I'm Christopher Atkins. I'm the senior character artist on the EverQuest 2 team. And when I'm not dodging milk, I actually have to work occasionally. We've basically been doing high pass keep NPCs and that's what I've been focused on working on most of this expansion. So I started with these goblins and uh, we sort of gave them a nice little revamp, made some different armor sets for them. So this was some of the attachments that I had for the goblin. We had a, a main boss request for someone who's controlling the entire dungeon and this is our final result for Bulgan, the boss. This is where all the pieces combine. I modeled a bunch of these separately, and then in the end I put them all together and then get ready to make a low-res geometry for the game. It was actually a really fun request. I usually have to work on slim NPCs, females, different things. I never get to do anyone that's uh, really interesting or, I don't know, let's say jiggly. Hi, I'm Brad Constantine, an animator here at SOE, and I'm knee-deep in animating goblins for the high keep area. Right now we have pesky goblins rummaging through boxes and they're going to have a a crazy food fight too. So here we have got a goblin picking up and throwing food at another goblin across the table. Well, I had a great time animating these goblins. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I got to practice all the moves at home, in the mirror, and then come in and play all day. I'm Mia Del Casino, senior artist on EverQuest 2, and this is Rick Randolph, also a senior artist on EverQuest 2. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in the architecture, so we took a lot of that detail and put that into the furniture and the objects, so everything had continuity and worked very well together. The reason that all this stuff is messed up is in the story, the goblins down below come up and just like ravage the place. So we try to try to do like these grand vista type things in the room. So I mean, the grand hall, it's easy to get lost in this thing. Tried to figure out what to do in this library and we finally came up with this idea of having this big globe with the map of EverQuest 2 on the globe. The amount of objects that were done for the zone was just, haven't had this it many in a long daunting. time. Yeah, it was pretty daunting. <laughs> so this dungeon is the Stram of the Protector, and it's a continuation of the Shisar theme. And this is actual um, temple that was made by the Shisar. So it all, it all glorifies them and the different facets of their society. The first facet is the artisan. This is the artisan construct in his corner. The warrior cast, of course, they've got their swords. They're all very violent. There's several naiads around here, which as you play through, you'll be able to get more detail on why that's going on. Hi, my name is Akil Hooper. I'm creative director for EverQuest and EverQuest 2, and I'm here to talk to you about the Channeler class. The Channeler is unique among healers in that it uses a bow. It's got a pet that handles healing in a different sort of way. Their primary heal mechanic, unlike Cleric, Inquisitors, and Templars, they use their construct to redirect a portion of the damage from an assigned target to their pet. So the pet is essentially a damage sink for incoming damage. But they're intended for you to be able to move around a lot and do lots of damage while you're moving. Secondary bar here, their dissonance bar. And as you use your dissonance abilities, you're gonna start building dissonance. That's like a heat sink. So the more dissonance you have, the fewer abilities that you're gonna be able to use. So you really wanna manage your dissonance. That's where a lot of your really powerful abilities are come from. So the Chandler pet is called Construct. With the Construct, you're gonna be able to go out and collect essences of creatures throughout the world you can channel the essence away from them. And once you've channeled the essence, you get two things, an equipment slot, which will change the appearance of your pet, and you get buffs. Really excited to have you guys play some Tears of Vision and uh, see you out there.